everybody and welcome back to another shop with me video in this video Aaron and I went over to the Oxford Goodwill we got a tip from a little birdie that told us that to to try this store on Tuesdays I guess by the time Goodwill this isn't probably any Goodwill in general gets anything over the weekend and by the time they process it and get some new things out it's usually Tuesday or Wednesday so we weren't there right when the doors opened and we could tell that we you know missed out on a few cool pieces because there wasn't very many people in the store but the few people that were looking around at the kind of things that we look at had some really cool items in their cart so you know that's fantastic for them but we had to move on and keep looking um there was there was a few cute things that were here but trying to be a little little picky uh, but i did like these frog uh shakers yes i said it i like the frog shakers that were in these rain boots they're not terribly old but they're very cute for people that like figurines and like to collect with frogs or want stuff for spring because they are rain boots i was just about to walk down this basket aisle when out of the corner of my eye i saw right here the cutest little piggy sitting on the shelf now this one is made in china it's probably meant to look like the, like the older like mccoy pigs and stuff like that but it's still so cute now i think someone donated a quite a few of their salt and pepper uh shaker collection uh because there was quite a few there i did grab them and try and look them up and see what things were going for um I think I found another pair over here. There was like an octopus. There were these seahorses that were really cute, but they had a chip on their head. So I ended up putting those back. Um, I didn't end up keeping all of them that I found that I put in the cart. I just kind of, you know, put it in the cart so you don't regret it later. You go back to it because you think, okay, maybe I will grab them, but then they're gone. So I just make sure I put things in the cart beforehand and do a little bit of research. And then, then I decide. Aaron was showing me this really cool globe that's up there, but it was missing the equator. So we kind of left that there. Me and Gabriel love maps and globes and stuff, but we ended up leaving that guy there. I was so wanting those apothecary jars, but we just have nowhere to put them here we don't have a lot of surface space anymore so i ended up leaving those but i did find this really cute kitty it was a single salt shaker but again people use them as figurines i found these really cute little apples that were made in japan so i grabbed those just kind of peeking through um what they had for salt and pepper shakers i was pretty impressed being the thrift store you know this guy was cool but he was missing a piece and i didn't see anything like it on a shelf so I ended up leaving that there. Sometimes I'll pick up single things like the cat if it's like something I'm interested in, but just the single house shaker, I was like, mm. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I love finding cool baggies of things, just stuff. And I liked that I didn't really show the camera very well because my hands are kind of full. But that was a little, it reminds me of Amanda over at Hot Mess Vintage, the candle holder that I just found. And then I spotted this little pink kitty. And I was like, oh my gosh, Aaron, take this from me. My hands are so full. So he had to come rescue me. But that was so cute, his little pink cat. And there's the candle holder gosh I told him let's hold this in case we find the other thing and then we spotted this very like mid-century pink and black little dish and it was $8.98 and a lot of the times because I shop both the thrift store and the antique store 
I'm like, Alex, would you pay this price in the antique store? But you know, the antique stores and thrift stores, they're totally different ball games. Because antique stores, it's almost like everything's at your fingertips. Thrift stores, you really gotta hunt it down. a serious game of I Spy. <laughs> Man, this shelf definitely had some potential. I stayed there for a while trying to see if I could find anything good. Aaron called me over to these two because I was kind of getting muscled out of that <laughs> aisle. Um, so I was peeking around on this shelf. They had it color coordinated green. And then there's one that's going to be next to it that I walk over to um, that actually had some like animal print glass. Uh, but I mean, I had it in my card. I was going to grab it, but I ended up not getting it. Um, at the end of the day it wasn't it's like I like animal print I love leopard print but it wasn't the right one I was looking for so I ended up leaving them but you'll see them over here so they had it all color coordinated and right up here there's a purse one and I don't know maybe it's because it's like an amber versus like a a golden color it didn't really sit well with me and then I think I go up and there's a couple other vases here but I ended up getting the little brass one that oh you got a glimpse of it I ended up getting the brass one that's up there this is the one I was going to pick was this one I was like hmm hmm I can work with this I can make this work but at the end I was like no it just it doesn't seem like the right kind of animal print to me that I like but I did like this this brass vase. I loved the shape of this. So I thought this was pretty awesome. This would look great. Walmart sells these long stem, like plum purple roses that I have in my house. Those would look great in those. So I'm not sure if I'll be keeping that one or if I'm gonna let that one go. That's the good thing about reselling is that you can keep things for a little while. And then once the I gotta have it, the I want it kind of wear off, then you can move on from the item and resell it. So that's what's so cool about that. That was a buttocks basket or an egg basket, but it was broken. This is a brand new jigsaw puzzle and I normally look these up, but I put it down because we were gonna go look at something, um, but it was brand new in the box. I was trying to figure out, I'm like, wait, what is it trying to show me? But it's like dogs in France or something. Um, but yeah, I put it down because I was gonna go look at something.
So anyways, I'm going to say goodbye right now to you guys. Don't forget that on Sundays we have live sales here on the channel. Also Fridays I'm starting uh, kind of like, I guess it's not really a pop-up sale if I'm telling you about it, but just look for Fridays around 1 p.m. Um, uh, sometimes I'll have a guest, sometimes it'll be just me, sometimes it'll be me and Aaron, but we're just going to do a few items, just a little pre-sale to the sale. Um, so that's going to be here on the channel at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. on Friday afternoons and then again Sunday at 1 we'll have our typical sale that's where you'll find a lot of the items that are in these shop with me videos and in the haul videos don't forget to go follow us both over on Instagram Aaron is mr. chapter 2 vintage co and I'm just chapter 2 vintage co all right guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a heart down below and I'll talk to you guys again soon bye